number one. All Samsung devices from 2019 or later will get four years of security updates. Samsung just announced a new policy for Samsung updates. The policy states that all Android-based Galaxy branded devices from 2019 or later will now get four years of security patches. That includes every Galaxy line, Galaxy S, Note, Z, A, X cover, and Tab, for a total of over 130 models. Number 2. T-Mobile's new plan promises unlimited 5G data without slowdowns. T-Mobile has introduced a Magenta Max plan that offers unlimited 5G data with no throttling. You'll also get 4K streaming, unlimited in-flight Wi-Fi and other perks. It will be available on February 24 at $57 per line with three lines. Number 3. Apple, not Samsung, was the top-selling smartphone brand in late 2020. Apple ousted Samsung and Xiaomi to become the top-selling phone brand in Q4 2020. It was the first time Apple had claimed the lead since 2016. The iPhone 12 and Huawei's decline helped Apple pull ahead. Number 4. Leaked Google Pixel 5a renders make it look nearly identical to Pixel 4a 5G. Renders that allegedly show the unannounced Google Pixel 5a have hit the internet. The phone looks nearly identical to the older Pixel 4a 5G. There's no word on when this phone will be released. Number 5. Oppo flaunts new contactless charging tech on its rollable phone. Oppo has released a 30-second clip showing off its new contactless charging tech in action. The demo shows the Oppo X 2021 rollable phone charging wirelessly in the air. The solution is different from what we've seen Xiaomi demonstrate with MI Air Charge. Number 6. New report plunges LG's rollable phone launch into further doubt. LG's rollable phone project has been put on hold, according to reports from Korea. The report suggests the firm told its display supplier to halt the development of the scrollable display. LG has denied the report. Number 7. Samsung Isis LG N2 announced, is this what the Pixel 6 should be using? Samsung has announced the 50MP Isis LG N2 camera sensor. It offers bigger pixels and a larger sensor size than its predecessor. The new sensor is currently in mass production. Number 8. Oppo hopes you'll soon buy a car carrying its VOOC flash charging tech. Oppo is licensing its VOOC fast charging technology to new partners. These partners include Anker, Fau Volkswagen, and NXP Semiconductors. This suggests that VOOC tech could be available on third-party chargers, in cars, and on other devices. Number 9. ZTE reveals improved under-display selfie camera, under-display 3D face unlock. ZTE has revealed second-generation under-display selfie camera technology. It aims to reduce the haze effect seen in the display area above the camera. ZTE also announced under-display 3D face unlock tech. Number 10. Samsung is making and folding displays for Google, Oppo, Xiaomi. Samsung Display is reportedly making and folding displays for Google, Oppo, and Xiaomi. It seems like Google and Xiaomi could be adopting a Galaxy Fold-like form factor. Oppo's screen is said to be a clamshell design like the Galaxy Z Flip. Number 11. Apple launch MacBook Pro models with SD card reader and HDMI port to this year, Ming Kai Kuo. MacBook Pro models could be launched in H2 2021. They may sport significant design changes. There may not be an Intel-powered MacBook Pro this year. Number 12. This is Android 12's wallpaper-based theme system. A developer has enabled Android 12's wallpaper-based theme system in the developer preview. The feature changes the entire color scheme of Android based on a dominant color. It might not always get the result you want, but it's still a nice touch. Number 13. Apple users may spend more on non-gaming mobile apps by 2024, Sensor Tower. Apple customers will outspend Android counterparts with the App Store. Games revenue will continue to take a higher share on Google Play Store. Downloads in Europe are expected to grow to 36.9 billion by 2025.